Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a one-click upsell and downsell in ClickFunnels 2.0. Offering related products as upsells and downsells in your funnel encourages customers to add more to their purchase and therefore leads to a higher average cart value. And another advantage of one-click upsells and downsells in ClickFunnels is that users can add the products to their order without re-entering their billing information. Just by clicking this one button, and if they don't want to add the product to their order, they click the no thank you link. Two things before I show you how to set everything up. First, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find the link to a free, extended, 30-day trial of ClickFunnels 2.0 in the description of this video. It's an exclusive offer because instead of 14 days, you get 30 days to test drive ClickFunnels 2.0 for free. And if you're already using ClickFunnels, in the description you will also find links to package deals that will help you save up to 44% on your ClickFunnels subscription. And second, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications to not miss out on the future videos. Now let's set everything up. Most likely you already have an order form in your funnel where you're selling the main product. And there are two other pages that you need to add to your funnel. An upsell page and an order confirmation page. And before we edit the upsell page and add the one-click upsell, let's add the product to this page. Click this icon with three dots, select add product, click add product, and select the product that you want to sell on the upsell page. After that, open the page in the page editor. To add a one-click upsell to your upsell page, you need to use the checkout element, the same checkout element that you used on the order form. Add new element, search for checkout, and make sure that you're using the checkout element and not the checkout legacy element. In the settings of the checkout element, you can select the template. And there's actually not a lot what we need to change in the settings of the checkout element. Because the checkout element on the upsell page will recognize if we already have the customer information on file. And if that's the case, it will show the checkout element in the one-click upsell downsell format automatically. To see how it will look like, go to the settings. And in the checkout preview, select one-time offer. That's how the one-click upsell will look on your upsell page if we already have the billing information from the customer on file. You can change the look of this element, for example, change the color of the button, of the background. And the only thing that you have to do here is to add a no thank you link and make sure that your button links to the page that you want. To add a no thank you link, go to the buttons, Toggle this on, then you can update the text for the no thank you link. If somebody clicks the no thank you link, they will be automatically redirected to the next step of your funnel. If you want to have a different flow, you should add the link to the page where you want to send them in this field. And if you want to change the color of the no thank you link, you can do it in the general styles. Now save the changes and let's test the whole flow. In this example, I have an order form, then the upsell page, and no matter if the customer adds the upsell product to their order or not, they will go to the order confirmation page. To test our upsell page, we need to start testing with the order form, because if you remember, the checkout element that we use for the upsell page needs to know that we have already provided the billing information. And only in this case, it will be shown in the upsell downsell mode. That's why I will open the order form, quickly place the test order here. For the card number, use the test credit card number that you see here. For the date, use any date in the future. And the verification code is three random numbers. Now we see our upsell page, which is working as expected. We only see our upsell product and we don't need to re-enter our billing information because ClickFunnels already has it on file. I will add the upsell product to my order and then we should be redirected to the order confirmation page. Now everything worked as expected. I see that my order includes the main product 
and the upsell product and the total amount for both products. Now, if you only want to have an upsell in your funnel, that's all you need to do. However, if you want to add a downsell page as well, I will show you how to do it further in the video. To add a downsell page to our funnel, we will just quickly copy the upsell page because they're pretty much the same, they're just offering different products. I will quickly change the name. Then we attach a different product to the downsell page, your downsell product. Click Add Products, then Add Product, and select your downsell product. Of course, you may want to update the text of the downsell page, change the product image. Let's quickly do it so we don't confuse the pages during the testing. but you don't need to change anything in the settings of the checkout element. Just to emphasize, it's not how the checkout element will look on the downsell page. If you want to preview how it will look, again, go to the checkout preview and select one time offer. Save the changes and go back to the funnel. Adding a downsell page to the funnel changes the flow of the funnel. From the order form, our customers will go to the upsell page. If they accept the upsell, they add the upsell product to their order, they will go directly to the order confirmation page. If on the upsell page they click the no thank you link, they will go to the downsell page. And after that, no matter if they accept or decline the downsell product, they will go to the order confirmation page. That's why there is one thing that we need to change on the upsell page. We need to add the link to the button to redirect our customers to the order confirmation page if they accept the upsell product. To do that, copy the link to the order confirmation page, then go to the upsell page and open it in the editor. Open the settings of the checkout element, go to the buttons, tick this checkbox, and paste the link to the order confirmation page. It means when the customer clicks the button and submits the order with the upsell product, they will be redirected to this page. Save the changes and let's once again test everything. I filled in the information on the order form and order the main product. We see our upsell page and in this case, I will decline the upsell product so that we go to the downsell page. And in this test scenario, I will add the downsell product to the order. Now we should see the order confirmation page with the main product and the downsell product. That's correct, everything worked as expected. Now let's also test the flow where we accept the upsell product and after that we should be redirected to the confirmation page. I place the order for the main product. accept the upsell product and we ended up on the order confirmation page. This way we tested that the redirect override for the button that we set up on the upsell page is working as expected. And just like that you have an upsell and a downsell pages created in ClickFunnels 2.0. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future videos.